on direct talk season 2We'll be talking about money matters where to invest how and with the right advice we'll be joined by the forte group how do you really gain that trust be punctual well protection is something you have to look into i welcome you to direct talk Thanks for having me on this show. Mr. Mandar, you have worked in different businesses. But before we get into the hardcore money discussion, can we first get to know your journey from Mumbai, India to Singapore? I landed here in 2004 in September. Okay. So that's how the journey started. Meanwhile, you know, when I was working with the corporates, I also did my masters in finance. So back in India I had done my engineering and I did software diploma courses as to work in IT industry and there was a very interesting thing which happened with me in 2013 interviewed as a smart investor <laughs> and that's where my financial journey started also very interestingly uh, Mr Mandar you mentioned that people back here were following you for say 6 months so if you look into the period of 2004 no social media no whatsapp but there were people on ground mm -hmm. right those times people actually on ground will give you the information and feedback to the company according to you what are the key aspects while handling a client the first thing you want from me is no surprises and we stick to it this is first thing which i would assure my client second most important thing in our business is ethics so when client comes to me they know that everything would be managed with proper integrity and ethics there's no compromise on these two things with this i would like to know the top 5 aspects you consider when you are actually giving a financial advice is transparency trust integrity ethics and values you've spoken about trust how do you really gain that trust simple things like be punctual when i say i will meet you at 11 you be there at 10:59 it immediately those small actions are noticed by your client that's the first step of trust i may say so whose advice do you take <laughs> I, i mean myself my own mind <laughs> yeah so important thing is my emotions shouldn't come in my advice to the merit of situation i should advise my clients and this is what my clients also expect out of me so are you trying to say that uh, you don't have a mentor or you don't have a guide <laughs> again a great question but for me the most important mentor is time and experience talking about experience of course we all talk about good ones how about the bad ones so when i started this journey it was my personal money when i was investing and there are a lot of stories there about my experiences my mistakes because as i said i never had a mentor in this journey just imagine you put your money with me and i make a mistake how does it sound well uh, i would say it's a <laughs> blunder it's not even a mistake so when we talk about investing we follow certain norms what i put on table is my experience so in your career graph what do you consider as the best moment something that makes you proud of yourself today i have around 250 odd clients which i'm managing but coming in this industry with zero experience somebody needs to give you that opportunity for me that opportunity giving is the highlight of my career I still remember the conversations which I had with Andy. I said, "Sorry, I don't know anything about your industry, but I can tell you one thing because I'm at ground zero. Whatever you put in me will be a positive return." We just had Mr. Mandar talking about his team. he spoke about you what made you think that he is the right fit for your team 
Interesting guy. Uh, we are blessed to have this uh, great gentleman with us. In Forte Group, we believe making wealth management easy to understand to the audience. Manda fit the views uh, of what we pitch. Tell us something more about the work culture of the Forte Group. They will be guided, handheld and be shown the path to their success. This is what we believe. Why Forte Group? Of course, we know there are so many players in the market, but there has to be a certain USP for the team that we all should look up to. So just now I emphasize the mission about uh, what Forte Group's mission is all about. And beside that, we believe in building a lifetime relationship with our customers. We don't believe in one-time transactional kind of relationship. Talking about inspiration, how do you inspire your team, Mr. Ong? I still remember our financial consultants once said that we are so happy that we are still able to see our leaders during this pandemic via Zoom. We believe in listening to our financial consultant. The aspiration, the challenges they are facing, I think our job is basically find solution for this group of people. Based on our experience that we have, I'm in the business for the past 26 years. I brought with me probably uh, a lot of uh, these encounters and I've gone through a lot of ups and downs in the industry, the financial cycles. I've seen through how it has impact individuals. I can share my fair share of my, this experience with my guys to get them on the go again, even during this, this very difficult time. Yeah. What is this one special advice that you would like to give out to our people out there to have more trust in your team and to get in touch with you all. Wealth protection is something you have to look into. Wealth accumulation and wealth distribution. These are three levels of planning that we overcase helping our uh, people out there. Yeah. So we've just got three different levels of important knowledgeable things that we all must know when it comes to our money. And of course, we, we have uh, both of you right here to give us more information and just the right advice. Yeah, thank you, Dima. Something that I would like the audience also to know, COVID has affected the markets and people get affected, their mindsets get affected. Yes, even I didn't know what's happening in the market, but I was sure that whatever happens in the market, the markets will bounce back. I can also share here, uh, you know, basically arranging a doctor online. So I'd actually arranged that for my clients. Okay. Because these small things which clients will remember. With this on Direct Talk, I would like to leave you with the final words. What would you like to say to our audience? The simple thing, what we are here with a single mission of impacting lives. And when we work with our clients, we work with the right values, integrity, and definitely ethics. That's what I may say here. Thank you so much. So that was Mr. Mandar Pandey on Direct Talk. And now for all our audiences and listeners, for sure you know what will keep you secured and trusted. This is Divya Dhar signing off on Direct Talk Season 2.